found this in an estate sale over the weekend. It is a black stove pipe for a wood burning stove. This is a six inch diameter pipe, which happens to be the uh, diameter that I need for my wood burning stove. I'm really excited about this. This is a water heater pipe. It's double wall, inside wall, outside wall, and between the walls, there's copper water pipe circling the inner wall. And what this is designed to do is it transfers heat from your wood burning stove to the water pipe. And you can use this to heat your water for a wood burning stove water heater. Here is my wood burning stove. As you can see I have the long pipe. This is to keep the heat in the house because the longer the pipe, the more heat will be transferred into the room. As you can see I also have a heat reclaimer. It has a fan in it and uh, when this gets hot the fan kicks on and it blows warm air out to uh, reclaim as much of the heat so you don't lose all of your heat to the outside. As you can see on this part of the stovepipe, I have wrapped some uh, old springs that I picked up somewhere. These uh, springs help to transfer the heat from the pipe into the room. Again, helping to reclaim the heat so you're not sending all of your heat up the chimney. Uh, what I will do is this is a two foot piece of pipe right here and what I'll do is I'll take this pipe off and I'll replace this pipe with the two foot piece that I purchased at an estate sale and make my um, wood burning water heater. I did an internet search for stovepipe water heater, found this excellent article from Mother Earth News about the blazing shower stovepipe water heater and this includes detailed instructions on how to build your water heater. Here's a few things that they say in this article. The first thing you need before you can install a system of your own, of course, is a storage tank. If you already have a hot water heater, you can use it. Otherwise, look around for a previously owned unit. It's important that you install it correctly in relation to the stovepipe coil. Notice in the figure that opening X is above opening Z and that Y is above W. Obviously Y must be higher than W because it is the rising column of hot water that forces the circulation of fluid through the system. Now I will point out that water under pressure can be very dangerous if a unit like this is not built correctly. Steam can build up and cause an explosion which can be very dangerous. And as you will see at the top of this water heater, they have installed a pressure relief valve or a safety valve. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for an old discarded water heater and get to work on making my own stovepipe water heater. Look for my future videos in which 
I'll report on my progress. This is Survival Doc reminding you, be prepared or be prepared to be fleeced. Sudden destruction.